Great news with the light sport coming up now in a year or two, there's gonna be some changes and one of the proposed changes are the variable pitch propellers. Viking, of course, being a Duke dealer, will uh, do our own variable pitch propeller based on the Duke very lightweight carbon fiber hubs. There's a easy way for us to incorporate a variable pitch propeller without having to have a heavy slip ring assembly or motor out in the spinner and current going out there. So we're just installing a push-pull rod right through our gearbox, which will be actuated from the backside with a very standard linear actuator. It can then be a in-flight adjustable or it can be a variable pitch as in with uh, constant speed using a digital controller. For those that want constant speed, we have the controller by Duke that will control the propeller within a very few RPM. It's a digital controller that just basically works the linear actuator, 12 volts. Very simple. You can run a manual or you can run a constant speed. You obviously cannot really compare um, a machine billet aluminum hub or a cast or forged aluminum hub because you end up with so much more weight than the carbon fiber. The hub is very simple. This is for a three blade. There's the front of it. There's a spring in there that pushes the blades in one direction once they pull this all together. There's the carrier mechanism inside where the paw of the blade that rotates goes in. And then it just moves back and forth from the pressure of the rod that comes through the gearbox and then gauges right here. So that is the entire mechanism other than the blades themselves that go in the hub. And we're looking at less than five pounds, four and three quarter pounds for that. Weight, of course, is extremely important up front on an airplane and having rotating mass down is also a benefit for the gearbox, for the engine. This propeller setup uses a clamp shell, which means the blades can be much smaller in diameter and they don't have a large aluminum threaded shank that goes into the propeller hub. Final product should be close to half the weight of competing products on the market today. We're proud to work with the Duke products to make this variable pitch propeller useful on the Viking engine. These are components and propellers that have run for several years on the Rotax engine and now are running on the 915 Rotax engine. Duke makes helicopter rotors. They make all kinds of really nice uh, carbon fiber, high temperature products. Here's a sample of a blade that's used in the Duke propellers. The weight of the blade is only two pounds. The uh, spinners are first class. They're super thin and lightweight. The weight of this uh, 14 inch spinner is less than a pound. And this day, that's for a five bladed propeller. A five bladed propeller hub, which also will become a constant speed, a variable pitch propeller by Viking for the Viking gearbox with the really simple shaft through and no mechanical components out in the propeller other than the carrier only weighs four pounds. This is an empty hub. We're now starting the uh, production version of the prototype propeller. We flew one a few years ago and it's now gone to the production stage. The propeller, of course, is not a Viking propeller, but the mechanism to drive it, which is a simple pin through the gearbox, is almost complete and ready for production. So what is the price of one of these variable pitch or constant speed propellers? Well, it does depend on if it's a three blade or five blade and the first ones they're gonna fly with the push rod is the uh, three blade. The mechanism for the five is the same. And prices will be somewhere between uh, six and $10,000 for the three blade. The uh, 
just a three blade with a variable pitch and a switch in the cockpit to move it back and forth would be the least expensive and then adding a controller to make a constant speed would add some cost to it.